Hey guys, Solid FPS here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. This time I'll be going over all the relevant settings I use while playing Division 2. Real quick, I'll be highlighting my current hardware. I play on a BenQ XL2540 240Hz gaming monitor. As for other peripherals, I play on a Logitech G Pro wireless mouse, G640 TSM Edition mouse pad, G Pro keyboard, and G Pro X headset. My current gaming rig is a Lenovo Legion T730 with an i9 9900K, a NVIDIA RTX 2080, and 32 gigs of RAM. Big shout out to our sponsor at TSM, Logitech G and Lenovo Legion for hooking me up with this amazing setup. You've seen my setup, now let's move on to Windows settings. In your start menu, type mouse and go to mouse settings. Click the right link for additional mouse options. Go to the pointer options tab and make sure your window sensitivity is set to 6 out of 11 and that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, right click your desktop, go to display settings, scroll down and click on advanced, then click on display adapter properties, go to the monitor tab and make sure the highest refresh rate is selected. If you have a Nvidia graphics card, open up GeForce Experience and make sure you're on the latest driver. At the time of this video, driver 442.5 came out with additional support for Warlords of New York. Finally, if you have a Logitech mouse, open up Logitech G-Hub and set up your profile. I keep mine simple, 400 dpi and 1000 polling rate. Moving on to in-game settings, I'll be calling out a few that are important to me. For any game that isn't as precise as CSGO, I use the 180 degree rule for in-game mouse sensitivity. That means that if I swipe from center of mouse pad to edge of mouse pad, I will turn 180 degrees in-game. I try to keep this consistent for both camera sensitivity and aim down sight sensitivity so that I'm only training myself on one sensitivity. The other big rule I follow is tied to frame rate versus aesthetics. If you're playing a shooter, you need that frame rate to go as high as it can, especially on high refresh rate monitors. But don't just set the game to low, tweak a few things for your own rig and use the in-game benchmarks to get an idea of how your rig performs. For example, you can always keep textures on higher or above with a decent card at minimal cost to performance. The aesthetic gain is usually worth it. I always play at my monitor's native resolution of 1080p with uncapped frames, no vsync, and an increased FOV if possible. One final and optional setting is this NVIDIA details filter. Clarity is set to 100 and all of the sliders are set to 0. I like how it makes things stand out a little bit, but it does come at a slight performance cost. Notice the differences when I toggle it on and off. To end this video, I'll be running the in-game benchmark both with and without the NVIDIA filter. Footage was recorded on the same PC that is being benchmarked, so my results are actually a bit lower than they normally would be. If this video helped you in any way, please consider subscribing for future Division 2 content. Also, check out my Twitch stream and other social media, links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time!